Shaber 1000 here. Today we got this uh, Husqvarna push mower, uh, self-propelled. The claim is it won't start, so I'll tell you a little bit about it, some information I got on it. Let's see if we can't get it to run. Okay guys, so the story on this, it's not really a story, it's just some information. This belongs to my niece and nephew, my niece and her husband. Um, so they bought it new about three years ago and they haven't used it. It's been sitting for, it's always started up for them and everything, but it's been sitting for about a year and a half, they said. Could be a little longer, uh, but they said about a year and a half. It's been sitting and it doesn't want to start. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get it running, start it up, and we'll probably put a new plug, change oil, kind of tune it up a little bit. But first, let's see what she's talking about when she says it won't start. All right, now, I don't believe, no, there's no primer bulb on this. So let's give it a couple pulls. Should have automatic choke. Let's give it a couple pulls, see if it'll start. She said it wouldn't run, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, so let's put, let's uh, Pull the plug wire off of it. See if it's got spark first. I've got my spark tester here. We're going to see if it's getting spark to the plug. We're just going to plug this in here. Just like that. Plug this here into there. And we're going to be looking right down there for we're going to be looking for a light. It should flash, it should blink. But let's see here. And I can't see because of where I'm at. Uh, of course, I don't know if this one's any good. I've got about five of them. Well, there's another way. I can touch this on here and give it a pull and see if, it, if I get zapped. Wait a minute. I got this. All right, I gotta, I gotta pull this handle, which also kills the motor. So let's check it now. No, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I felt spark, so just see if. Okay, yeah, I see it down here. If you look right down in there, I can't get you. There we go. You should see it sparking. Right in here. Okay, good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the spark plug out and see if it's got spark. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this plug out. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to test this because I'm not, I don't think I'll be able to see it. But we know we're getting spark to this. It's all electronic ignition, so... We don't have to worry about points. Look at that. Can you guys see that? It's gapped or bridged. That's called bridged. It was bridged with what looked to be like water. 
uh, I don't know but I might be able to do this here we'll stick this on. Whoops. We'll stick this on here and it should wrong with this thing now there we go I put it here I should be able to see if it sparks or not I know you guys can't see that very well but I'll get you over here So we're going to be looking right here. And I'm not seeing any spark. Okay, we may have a dead plug. But let's just go directly onto here. hold it here right there's where we're looking okay this can spark okay well now what we're gonna do I'm gonna put this plug back in we're gonna pull the air cleaner off see what's going on there it could just be filled up with water I don't know here's the air filter Ugh. that's not good that's bad. I don't even think I can clean that out. Usually you can soak them in gas and wring them out let them dry. Uh, but I think that's bad. There's some dirt down in here. So it could be a carburetor issue. Um, let's go ahead and without that on there let's give it a pull and see if it'll start sometimes what it does is just choke it out too much and it floods out which it looked like it was wet it looked like water to me but it might have been fuel so let's go ahead and give this a couple pulls and see what happens Okay, nothing. So, I know you're not supposed to, but I'm going to shoot a little starting fluid in there. And let's see if we can get it to kick over. Now, what I'll usually do is I got pre-mix in there. I got a little bottle with, uh, with a little tube on it. And usually I'll squirt that into the carburetor. But I can't on this one. Because it's got a it's got a screen in it, so I know you're not supposed to use this stuff, but I have many times. It's never hurt anything yet. So let's see if that does anything for us. As you probably heard, it fired. So I think could be water and a gas, dirty carburetor. Okay, so I know it's got stuff in the tank, so I don't know how much of it's water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the line off of it and drain what's in here out and put fresh gas in, see what happens. Okay guys, so what I did, I didn't pull that line off. I just dumped it out of here. I just flipped it up on its side. 
Um, the gas smells funky, so let's put some fresh gas in it. Okay, now, let's see what happens now. Firing on its own now. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right, it's getting there. does it actually not only does it put a brake up against the flywheel to help slow it down it also has a kill switch in there which I forgot about because I was checking it for spark with that not up so it seems to be running good I'm going to try to clean this filter I don't know how well it's going to be but I'm going to try to clean it out and let it dry then I'm going to blow all this stuff out of there for, we'll see if it's going to be okay. I checked the oil in this thing and it's, I mean, it's clean. It's very clean. It looks like I just put it in there. So I'm not going to change the oil on it. And I think the plug's going to be all right. So I'm just going to blow it out. I think the main cause was that filter and it had some bad gas in it. So, uh... Let me get this filter clean, and I'll get this blown off, and then we'll see if it starts again. Okay, this turned out pretty good. We'll go ahead and put it back in. Got the air compressor running behind me. Well, it's in the garage, but it's behind me. Get this cleaned out. Go. Now, get some of this stuff out of there so it don't suck it back up in. Watch your eyes. Okay, I'm gonna keep blowing this off and we'll see if it'll start again. Okay, so I got it all cleaned off. I'll show you. Just wiped it down, blew it off. Looks pretty good. As it should for only being three years old. So let's go ahead and see if this thing will start up. It should. And we'll go from there. So this thing gets hooked in up here, but uh, it was just off of there because when he brought it out to me, he folded the handles up. So it goes on right over there. There it is. All right, let's uh, see what happens.
sounds good um, the blade don't look the greatest I was going to sharpen it but it's not really worth it I will suggest to him put a new blade on it I think that's all it needs this summer so it's ready to rock and roll and as far as it not starting I think it looked like it was water in that plug so I think it just had water in the gas no big deal just drained it out put fresh gas in it cranked a few times and started and ran so here guys go just getting it ready for my niece and nephew for uh summertime so i want to say thanks for watching guys appreciate i'm out of breath right now Whew. <laughs> thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth man of legend i'm gone for now there's just something all over the lens of my camera i'm so sorry <laughs> and uh We'll see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000. Did I just say that? I don't know. <laughs> you have a great weekend that's coming up. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.